today we're going to sit down and map out a plan, um, which is deciding when to have what that you chose from the recipe. So I suggest first to take a look at your calendar and think about any special events coming up over the next week or, or longer if you're meal planning for longer than a week like a birthday party, a l office lunch, it's, it's summer, so any kind of, you know, barbecues to go to. Um, you can always eat something before you go or bring a healthier option to go with what's served. Or you can even use that time as your cheat meal, but make sure that you plan accordingly for that. Now, there was a reason that I had you do food journals last week before I did meal planning this week because you need to also look at those times where you got off plan um, because you were stressed for time or, um, you know, days that, that worked differently that you had more time to prepare something than you did other days other reasons that may have caused you to veer off plan. Another thing to look at is what meals would work better back to back. So maybe one day you're going to have baked chicken and the next day you need to have cooked chicken for a chicken salad. If you line them up ahead of time, it'll make it easier on you when you're need when it's time to cook because you can prepare one meal that leads into the next meal and then part of that meal can lead into the next meal. When I sit down to map out a plan, I'm really only mapping out dinner. I personally have the same breakfast every single day of the week, which is two eggs with cheddar, vegetables, and an English muffin. So those items go on my list automatically every week. For lunch, I have Shakeology. Shakeology works really well for me in the afternoon when I'm the most busiest between work and homeschooling. Um, and if we have an appointment to go to, I can actually, you know, take it with me on the go. So my kids, they have eggs for breakfast too. Um, not so much the vegetables, but um, they also do have Shakeology for lunch. Our dinners are different each night of the week for at least two weeks at a time. Are they all, um, I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, so we pretty much have a running list of like a month worth of, uh, of dinners to go by with only a few repeats, the ones that we really like. So are they all healthy and, and fit my plan? Well, if they don't, they will with just a few different tweaks. And I also try to make some of the meals where they are separated, more like kind of like a buffet that meets every meets my family's needs because, um, you know, I'm trying to eat healthier. My husband's diabetic. My uh, son is a vegetarian. So we try to keep the meat away from, you know, separate from the rest of the meal that night. So we do a lot of um, parts of meals for everyone to kind of put it together themselves. Um, so today I have a freebie for you. Uh, it was a blank menu planning sheet with a separate grocery list. I emailed them earlier today and if you're not on the email list uh, for this group and you want the freebies, make sure that you sign up with the link that I provided and also uh, let me know that you want the freebies that I sent out today because that email already went out. Now I'll have to go back in and, and send that one to you. So you'll need to put that in the comments below if you also want today's freebie. So uh, today's task is to map out a plan. You know, get out a, uh, use the planning sheets, get out your calendar, look and see what you have ahead, look and see what meals you could make that you've chose that can work better back to back for you and tomorrow we're going to have a scavenger hunt so uh, let me know in the comments if you've got your plan mapped out you have a great day